Yo, 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 what's going on, internets? This is your boy, Trill Boy. Got your boy, Bodega Cat, to my left. Got my other boy, Jimbo the Kid, on my far left over there. Uh, we are back again for another trailer reaction for you guys. We are doing the book of Boba Fett that will be premiering on Disney+. Plus. So, before we get into this trailer, I don't know if you guys want to talk a little bit about the... Uh, what we're going to be getting into what are your thoughts and uh yeah let us know man i'm just excited i'm just excited this is uh another character i can't wait to follow mm -hmm. i'm glad he's got his own show yes sir um but i'm st i'm still waiting for the mandalorian too i mean the mandalorian's an exceptional uh series with great characters Great storytelling. Um, they literally carried the Star Wars franchise. Even the the, the last three theatrical films bombed <laughs> tremendously. So I can't wait to see. Uh, Han, Han Solo was a tragedy. This too. <laughs> you know, I, I I seen that movie. I seen that movie in bits and pieces. Yeah. And I I just don't get it. It looks like, like Destiny the movie. I don't get it either. Like, I don't understand what was the whole premise of that movie, what they were trying to do. Um, I understand, yeah, they were trying to f tell you the story of how he got the Millennium Falcon, how he met uh, Lando, Chris, uh, Lando, and how he met Chewbacca. So, I, I don't know. Like, that take that they did, um, I wasn't really feeling it. It just felt, it didn't even, like, to me, it didn't really feel like Star Wars, you know? No, it didn't feel like all. it. And, uh, not at all. It was like a huge letdown and whatnot because Han Solo was just like an awesome, one of the awesome characters from Star Wars, you know? Like, and it was kind of like a big let, letdown on uh, Lucasfilm and Disney's side. So, I don't know. Um, but like, like you said, uh, the Mandalorian, the series, literally outshined all three of those new movies right off the gate, you know? And, it, like, it was kind of great to see that Star Wars kind of got its thing back, you know, in The Mandalorian. So, I don't know. I'm kind of excited for this, especially, too, just seeing, like, Boba Fett in Season 2 of The Mandalorian, how they did him in there and whatnot. So, I'm really excited to see what they do with this one. Yeah, um, it's just interesting to see. Um, hopefully, this is... Just like another spinoff of the Mandalorian, and you can get to see how Boba Fett really operates. Because in the in the original films, he he wasn't much of a in depth character. He just showed his face and only said a couple of lines, and then people fell in love with him. It was the same thing with like Dar Darth Maul. I think Star Wars does that like a great job with uh, introducing these characters where they just show on screen. They don't say anything. <laughs> But you know they're a badass. You know that the that you know there's something behind yeah. behind their uh, character. Um, uh, let's just see what happens. I, I just love the. I know uh, Mandalorian is just so good, bro. So good. So good. Like so good. The last the last <laughs> season was just so good, man. <clears throat> like you know, hopefully they, they just can ride that high. Cause John Favreau, Dave Filoni, absolutely killing it. These guys are literally carrying the Star Wars franchise on their backs, and they're killing it. So I'm just high expectations for me. Yeah. Oh, so question is: Is the Mandalorian gonna be in this series? This, mm. um, I don't think so. This is just gonna pick up after what happened, I guess, in season two when Boba Fett and that other um, bounty hunter like dipped off and left or whatever. So. <laughs> It's pretty much more like I, I have a feeling because the way they did it at the end of season two where he goes back to Jabba's palace and he like pretty much just like John Wick's his way in there and he just like takes over. And then mm -hmm. that last scene where he's sitting in that Jabba's throne, that was that was badass. Now, do you think that that's where the story is going to go? It's just him running things or um, him like doing bounties and. Like what? What characters do you expect to be in here? Do you do you think any characters would pop up to like the Mando? But I don't think the Mando would. 
I don't know. Um, maybe for a little bit. Maybe some of the bounty hunters that we saw in the old movies might pop up. I don't know. Um, you had that one robot that was similar to the one that was in season one of The Mandalorian. Maybe he'll show back up again in this. And there was like some lizard one, right? Like a yellow lizard that was yes. in Empire Strikes Back. So he might mm-hmm. come back too and whatnot. But I think it's like going to be the story of Boba Fett working his way through like the underground syndicate and trying to like take over and be like the the kingpin of like that whole um that whole community and society down there yeah who who is that i believe it was in the clone wars cartoon the um i don't know if he was a bounty hunter or a bounty slayer the guy with the cowboy hat blue skin red eyes oh damn what the hell's his name i totally forgot is he gonna be in this? That would be pretty crazy if Filoni goes that route and puts him in. This. Is he gonna be in it? Uh, this could be a possibility. What? Wasn't he like a bounty hunter slayer or something like that? No, nah, he was like one of like the top bounty hunters in the universe. Like he was yeah. really like good at what he does. And I'm I believe, wondering. I believe in the in the animated series that all came out that he's involved in. He's still alive. Hmm. <clears throat> so I wonder. <laughs> so there's an article on Tech Radar, and it says the Book of Boba Fett Star Wars characters who could make an appearance. Um. Let's see. For um, for bounty hunters. Uh, could be Bosk and Denger. Bosk have and history Denger. with Fett. Okay. Having worked with the aspiring bounty hunter during the Clone Wars where Dangar was voiced by Simon Pegg. Both make uh, brief background appearances in Return of the Jedi. Dangar is Jabba's palace. Bosk uh, on his sail bars. So Shoma neither was on board the latter one and blew up above the Sarlacc. Uh, both could have lived to fight another day. In fact, a report in Slash Film suggests Dangar survives through to the rise of Skywalker, set three decades after the book of Boba Fett in the twisted form of Cyborg Rothgar Dang. Um, Cad Bane That's him. That's the blue alien. Is yet to appear in live action, but that didn't bother the Mandalorian when it brought Clone Wars veterans of Shokotano and Bo-Katan cries into the fold. So, yeah, dude. Um, That's what I'm thinking of. Yeah, because you have to think about the, the, the underworld, which is what I'm looking forward to, is how the underworld of Star Wars plays out. Uh, you know, how they're going to connect things for the future. Like, <laughs> dude, it's so good, bro. Like, And I think that's where they fall short with uh, Solo. Yeah. Solo wasn't that more of an underworld. It was, but then it wasn't. It's not what we were expecting. We wanted to, you know, see how it operated a little yeah. bit. but. I feel like in Solo, you got like kind of like a small glimpse of it because they were just so focused on the story of Han and like how he met all these other characters for the future. So they didn't really get to do a deep dive in that realm. And you kind of got a little taste of what like in the animated series with Darth Maul. He was running a lot of like the underground stuff, that whole syndicate. So I don't know. We'll see what happens. Now, in the show, uh, I believe it's Clone Wars, Darth Maul survives, does he not? He becomes Mm -hmm. a mechanical figure. Now, I don't know if this is the same timeline, uh, but if you're watching this, you can please correct me because we would like to learn. But what if he does make an appearance in this? I'll cry. Uh, Right? Like, is that still the same timeline? I don't want to put a spoiler out, but like no, no, shut your mouth. You shut, shut your the, mouth. No, wait, there's no spoilers. Wait, no, not to the sh- to this show specifically, but I don't know if you're gonna if you're gonna watch the animated series or not because I don't know. Are, are you? Is anyone gonna watch the animated series or Clone Wars? No, nah, it's not in Clone Wars. It's in um, Rebels. Rebels. That's what it is. It's in Rebels. Maybe there's like a. There's a big iconic scene in there. So, I don't know if I want to say anything. <laughs> don't ruin that. Don't? 
Yeah, please <laughs> don't. Please don't. Oh. All right, guys. <clears throat> this is the uh, Last Slice Boys watching the Book of Boba Fett official trailer coming out on Disney Plus December 29th in five, four, three, two, one. Spider. I am not a bounty hunter. Damn, I've heard good otherwise. Ride. So good! <laughs> so good. It looks like a damn movie, bro. So good. I know that you sit on the throne of your former employer. Wow. Oh, with fear. Ooh, this shit looks so good. I intend to rule with respect. You were all once captains under Jabba the Hutt. No, I'm here to make a proposal that's mutually beneficial. Why speak of conflict when cooperation can make us all rich? Whoa! That prevents us all from killing you and taking what we want. Oh, son. If he had spoken such insolence to Jabba, he'd have fed you to his menagerie. Please, speak freely. mess with this this looks dope <laughs> yo just the way like how the show looks like a movie it's crazy oh yeah and you can see this the whole full scale of the city oh, yeah that's <laughs> wild bro wild <laughs> wild bro this is gonna be nuts it's kind of like if you really think about it it's like the game of thrones but like in a criminal syndicate underground world and whatnot. yeah and you get to see the operations like the the, the real bad guys in, okay uh, in the galaxy yeah all right gentlemen because you know i like to break this down <laughs> <clears throat> a minute and seven seconds in there is a female alien who has those tentacle things coming out of her head of course you would go to her what minute <laughs> did you go to a minute and seven seconds this dude um, of course. And the camera kind of freezes on her, right? She kind of looks like one of uh, Java's slaves from back in the day, but she has normal skin, not blue skin. You remember? Well, uh, I think that alien race, they, they have like all different like colors and stuff like that because you see it in right. an animated series. My question is, why is the camera freezing on this one particular woman? And secondly, could she be a Jedi? Her? Nah. Nah, so so they freeze it so you can stop and stare at her because you yeah, can be oh like, my, wow, yeah. she's a hot <laughs> yeah. alien chick. So <laughs> let's let me th let's throw this in for the guys oh who are gonna literally God. be like, who is that? So they actually <laughs> they did it. They did it right. <laughs> oh my God, she's gotta be she's gotta be someone significant because nah. they show her. Well, why would they do that little quick scene of her? Unless she's just like. One of the heads of like the underground syndicate or something like that for like her part of the galaxy. That's my mm, best yeah. guess and whatnot. But like this is like kind of dope because I'm looking at the early couple of seconds, like around like the 12 and all that, that you kind of see more of like Jabba's palace. Like you see the upstairs part with like um, the drapes and all that stuff. I guess like this would be like Jabba's room where he would sleep at and stuff like that. What's that spider carrying that liquid in the opening scene? I think wasn't that didn't they have that um creature in one of the old ones or it's in something. I've seen it before. Mm. I forgot what it is. But that's a what you call it, a stop motion animation. 
if you mm. notice it. What's that? That's yeah. uh, the spider in the beginning. So they did the same animation as like the Nightmare Before Christmas. Oh really? Yeah, because I could tell by like the mov- movements of the spider. It's definitely like that claymation uh, animation that they did. So who do you think that spider belongs to? Well, I don't know. I have no clue. But uh, imagine the- Boba Fett comes in contact with some of the old clones, like there might be a clone running around still. It's a possibility. Because in the animated series, they're still around. Ah. Uh. Because, um, what was it, Filoni, just recently, I think it was last year or the year before, he confirmed that, what is it, I think Commander Rex is in the scene at the Battle of Endor. So he's mm-hmm. one of the old old guys in the background helping out um, Luke, Leia, and Han, and Chewbacca with the Ewoks. So one of those yeah. characters is an old clone from back in the Clone Wars. Uh, so there's a possibility this should there could be more clones out there still living at this point no. I'm stoked this trailer is fire even around like the 53 minute mark or uh, three uh 53 second mark where you see like all the head guys at the table it's pretty dope Okay, so the spider, um, which is uh, looks familiar. So that spider, uh, this is an article from iFilm. Uh, mm-hmm. It says that spider should look familiar because we saw one briefly when C-3PO and R2-D2 arrived at Jabba the Hutt's palace in The Return of the Jedi. That's what it however, was. Th- however, this is more than just some kind of droid spider. This is a Boromar monk a member of a mysterious religious order that, in seeking to cut themselves off from civilization, place their living, sentient brain inside of a nutrient-rich globe that is carried around by a spider droid body. Wow. Oh, this is interesting. <laughs> These monks are responsible for building the monastery fortress that is Jabba the Hutt's palace. Uh, <clears throat> okay, we getting deep in this, the lore of Star Wars now. Deep cut. I got, I got a good one for you. Whoa. Here are the names of the episodes. The Champion, The Assassin, The Syndicate, The Battleground, The Homeworld, The Warlord, Warlord, The Showdown, and The Hunter. So wait a minute. How many episodes is there? Eight? Yep. Eight why, is the last, why is the last episode called The Hunter? I don't know. Imagine his cat Bane pops up. They Ooh. like okay. Him. So that overhead shot of the city, yeah, uh, might be a new spaceport. Mm. Allegedly, from this is from iFilm. Uh, right. This looks far too big to be most obviously spaceport, unless there have been some 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 significant developments in the years since we have been here. More than likely, this is another spaceport somewhere on Tatooine, at least based on the environment. It is possible that this is Mos Espa from The Phantom Menace, where the film's famous pod race took place. Interesting. That'd be cool. Imagine Mm -hmm. they bring back pod racing in one episode. Uh, That would be awesome. Bro, that would be so happy. I'd be so happy. (laughs) I'd be so happy. Yeah. Oh, I'd be it. I'd be so happy. All right, so uh, that lady you were talking about in 107 of the trailer, uh, there's a picture of her here, uh, and it says Boba Fett and Fennec Shand roll into a cantina of some kind, not unlike unlike the many mob movies or film noirs from over the years. A Twi'lek waitress watches as the two enter the cantina, and if it's that's Jennifer Beals playing that role, then this is likely a key character who will have a pivotal role 
in the series or at least a single episode. This clearly echoes all those classic movies where a young waitress has some key information about a criminal because of everything she witnessed in these seedy spots. Then again, maybe this is the proprietor of the bar and Boba Fett has some business with the women. So you're right. She does look like she plays a pivotal role. Oh, wow. Wow. Dude, they're making it into a real <laughs> underworld uh, type of show, and I'm I'm digging right. it, dude. I'm digging it. It's like a mobster movie, kind of. Yeah, you know? dude, like a Boba Fett the mobster, bro. The mob boss. The mob boss. Okay. Oh my god. Mm. Should name it many many saints of Boba. <laughs> the many saints of Boba. Or the many saints of Tatooine. <laughs> mm. Yeah, there you go. Oh my god. Yeah, um, she literally has one of the the higher credits in um, IMDb, Jennifer Beals. Which 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 would means that she would have more, more did screen you notice, time and dialogue. Uh, mm-hmm. Did you did you guys notice when Boba Fett's uh, helmet was rolling around, and the coins started falling out? That one of the coins had the Rebel Alliance symbol on it, oh, like yeah. credits. Yeah. Yeah. Oh man! This yeah, dude. but they, yeah, they, but but coin is coin though. Yeah, there's no allegiance to to value of a of a payment, right? Yeah, which is pretty cool. Which is yeah. <laughs> nah. They just take. It's all about the money, baby. This this movie is straight mobbed up, Yo, man. That's it. You know what that scene is? What? Do you remember back in? I think it was Attack of the Clones. When he died, and his helmet rolled over to his son. Oh, Django's. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's something similar to that. It's very similar. Oh yeah, I do see the Rebel. Is it the Rebel Alliance logo on that? I don't even know. Looks kind of like it. But I'm glad. Yeah, it, it is the Rebel Alliance it is? logo. Yeah. The one thing I'm um, kind of like stoked about is that this dude came back to direct another episode for Boba Fett. Robert Rodriguez. Who's that? Oh, he did? Yeah. Which one did uh, Robert Rodriguez film? Was it the, the, the last episode in the mm-hmm. in the series or was it the one before that when the Baby Yoda was at the temple? Not uh, the temple, it, but he was... It, um, it's... On the the hilltop, yes, yeah, that's, that was him, right? That's the one that Robert Rodriguez uh, directed. Yeah, which was like crazy, like that action, just seeing like stormtroopers' helmets just cracking. You just seeing like the debris of it just coming off. It's like the first time we ever seen or, like saw anything like that in Star Wars. Yeah, and that's when Boba came off the uh, the ship with Fennec and. The the ro- the droids came down trying to pick up, uh, what's the, Grogu? Grogu, um, yeah. Damn man, I missed that show. They gotta hurry up with that show. <laughs> Disney, hurry up! We need more Mandalorian. <laughs> when does season three it. come out? I don't even know when season three of the Mandalorian comes out. Maybe it's next year. Like the Rancor is still down there. What the Rancor? Yeah, is it still there? <laughs> Imagine. Mm-hmm. That'd be crazy. Oh man. Uh, so it says <clears throat> the slightly bad news is that the Mandalorian season three will return later than we've seen in the past, with Disney confirming that the release date is Christmas 2021. Hmm. Uh, this is from Esquire, and the uh, the title. I'm not gonna look in too far into this, but it says the Mandalorian season three is heading in a totally new direction. I don't want to read that because <laughs> I don't know what that means, and I'm keeping away from it. <laughs> Keep showing me the baby, wow. the baby, oh the child, God. the child. I need more Grogu. Yeah. Uh, what was it? One of these articles says it's, it's uh, third season is arriving early 2022. So we might get more clarification on that because Disney Plus Day is coming up next week. 
so they're going to be dropping more uh, news on like series movies that are be coming out possibly there might be a trailer for it next week so gotta stay tuned for that that's another thing i'm excited to see what they're gonna announce yeah i'm just interested to see the villains of the show since everyone is technically a villain themselves <laughs> in the galaxy so it's interesting to see how many backstabbing is going to be happening bro I, I will literally lose my shit if I see Cat Bane in live action That's oh yeah because he's, he's, he's a pretty good character in the animated series so yeah I think he deserves to be in uh, the live action universe yeah but uh yeah man I'm I'm pretty I'm stoked for this this looks good so mm -hmm. I can't wait. And if you guys have any um, information or any theories, make sure to let us know down below in the comment section. We do enjoy reading uh, your guys' responses and your insights. We are willing to learn, and we'll definitely answer you guys back. Keep bringing the knowledge. Keep yeah, bring keep it. bringing the knowledge. Keep bringing the knowledge. <laughs> I just never realized how dumb I am sometimes. <laughs> So this is actually uh, takes place after Return of the Jedi. I was reading up on it, um, so I doubt that we're gonna see Darth Maul. Nope, I doubt it. <laughs> uh, who knows? Who knows? The the never one, say never. Never say never. The, 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 never say never. The one series there's a possibility that Darth Maul might come back is in the Obi Wan. Obi Wan. There is a possibility oh. he may come back. Yeah. And I don't see Disney not trying to cash in on that, you know? So I can see him definitely coming back for that. Disney, please bring Maul back. You know the amount of merchandise you could just make off of that man? Mm -hmm. Just bring him back. Just bring him back. I know you want to make money. Bring Darth Maul back. Make money. Make merchandise. Make lightsabers. Bring him back, please. Dude, that would be crazy. And bring back the original actor. That was um, who's that actor? He he was in a lot of other movies. He's like a stunt dude, right? Yeah. yeah. So, I know he was Snake Eyes in um, GI Joe. Wasn't he Toad in X Men? Yep, he was Toad in X Men. Ray Park. Yeah, Ray Park. It's the man, the legend right there, man. Crazy. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, man. I'm, it's, just, it's, it's interesting to see, like, him, who is a stunt guy, get a role like Darth Maul. Mm -hmm. And then and then the guy who plays the Night King for Game of Thrones is an actual stuntman as well mm. that landed that role. Oh, for real? Yep. Oh, he's, a fa that. he's a famous stuntman in Hollywood. And I guess they gave him the role and was just like, here you go. And he became the Night King. So all the fight scenes, the majority of the fight scenes in Game of Thrones is done by this guy. the guy who plays Night King. Yeah. Wow. Crazy, right? If you think about it, Night King is like the the Game of Thrones version of like Darth Maul. Yeah. Kind of looks yeah. like it. Kind of looks like just, it. Just done by stunt guys. So I'm assuming let's become stunt guys and maybe we could be the baddest villains ever in a movie in the future. Let's do it. <laughs> let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, imagine being the stunt guy for Tom Cruise. Oh. But I know he does all his stunts, so he doesn't even have a stunt guy. So He probably does have a stunt guy, but it's the easiest job ever because it's just it's there. Tom, you want me to go in with for this one? No, nah, I got it. Okay. <laughs> Matt, well, think of people like Jackie Chan. Jackie Chan never had a stunt guy. Nope. You know. One. Jackie Chan always did his own stunts. The probably sigh of relief if you do get like casted to be one of the stunt guys. You just know you're not gonna work. Yeah, just, <laughs> still getting paid. Sitting in the chair it's like a, on the side. It's like a, it's like a third. <laughs> it's like a third string quarterback <laughs> for a good team. For like Tom Brady. Yeah, you're like Tom <laughs> Brady's uh, second quarter, second string quarterback. <laughs> you're like, Shh, give me the money, I'll take it. <laughs> oh man, but uh, yeah, man, I'm I'm excited for this. 
Can't wait. Yeah. That was a good trailer. Nice teaser. Nice little teaser mm -hmm. for us. Nice little teaser, yeah. I appreciate it. It was good enough. Yeah. You know, yep. unlike, unlike some other trailers out there. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, man. Definitely uh, looking forward to it and uh, getting some substance to the story. Get introduced to some new characters. Hell, yeah. Uh, you know, it looks promising. Uh, and... Uh, the executive producers have been doing their thing. Uh, I trust them. They've been killing it. And trust so. in Filoni. <laughs> yep. Yeah. The man knows what he's doing. Yep. Exactly. Oh, man. Definitely been making the fans happy. So. Hell yeah. All right. All right, boys. That's it. That's it. So, uh, yep. You can catch us on our YouTube channel, The Last Lights Podcast. We'll be doing many, many more trailer reactions for you guys. And as, as well, we have a our podcast that drops every Tuesday. You can check that out. And, uh, yeah, catch us next time. Yep. And uh, I'm still waiting for my Knights of Red movie. Thank you very much. <laughs> still, still waiting on that Disney. Make it happen. Knights of Ren. This yeah, that's not happening. That ain't happening. It's that over. That ship is sailed, ship. brother. It's gone. Ship is going. <laughs> it's gone. It's never coming back. It's gone. <laughs> I just want a Knights of Red movie. That's all I care about. Yeah. It's gone. Poof. Bye -bye. It's just like the Joker. I'm going to make this pencil disappear. <laughs> it's gone. <laughs> Ta-da. All right. Uh, Thank you guys for tuning in. Hey. Make sure to subscribe to this channel if you want more of this content. Thank you very much. Later. Later.